Take two. So are you thinking about buying a tablet, throwing your hat in the ring, and picking up one of these bad boys? Well, my friends over at Hueyon, they're not really my friends, but you know what I'm saying. They sent me a tablet. They actually sent me a couple tablets. And I want to compare this Hueyon tablet to my Wacom tablet, my tried, trusty, true, my beloved Wacom tablet. I want to compare them on a number of different levels, see which one's better, and see maybe what you should get if you don't have a tablet and you want a tablet. So the first thing, we've got the Hueyon. Price. Price, 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 because it's all about the money, baby. The Hueyon for the large tablet. This is the large, $165 or thereabouts. The price may go up or down a little bit. Uh, $165 for the equivalent large Wacom. And I've got the medium. I don't even own the large. But for the equivalent Wacom large, it's about $400. So everything that we talk about in this video, remember that. Is the discrepancy between these two tablets worth that you know, 240 ish dollars. But also remember with the Huey on, you got to pay for shipping and potentially tariff for VAT uh, related stuff. 165 versus 400. Let's get into it and get started. We're going to kick it off now that we talked about price with the size of the tablet and the comfort. Personally, I prefer a medium tablet because it fits in my laptop bag and it's big enough to work on my massive behemoth screen back there. The large does feel nice. Uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, but they're both just well constructed tablets. Um, size wise, they're good. So pretty neck and neck when it comes to size, uh, the way everything's laid out, I kind of prefer the Huey on to be honest, because like the on off switch, despite the fact that it's ugly and it's hanging out up in this corner, it's just, it just works. It's analog and you just, it's a big fat switch. You just click it and the tablet's on for the Wacom. It's this little button on the side and it's just harder to reach over and hunt around for the button. I got to give a slight edge to the Wacom when it comes to just comfort and size uh, and overall usability. It's just rounded. It feels softer. Uh, it just feels a little bit nicer, but slight edge to the Wacom. Now I was going to do all these as separate comparisons, retouching, uh, doing a little bit of calligraphy, painting. How do the tablets feel? They feel virtually identical. The Wacom is a little bit more comfortable. The stylus feel, just feels more luxe feels more expensive, feels a little bit nicer. There's a little bit more you can do in terms of customizing it. But man, the Hueyon feels so good too. You feel like you have so much control when you're drawing and retouching, dodging and burning, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's amazing. Um, I can't pick which one of these tablets is better. $400 tablet or $165 tablet. Um, so take that as you will. I, I prefer the Wacom because I'm just more used to it and I like it more. But if you're new to this game, you're going to be really impressed by this. You, you'll you love it. You'll fall in love with it. So then comes multi-touch. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. Wacom has multi-touch. The Hueyon, at least this one, no multi-touch. Um, that being said, multi-touch for me is not a selling point. Uh, a lot of neat stuff you can do. It, it's always kind of felt like a cheap trackpad to me. I use Apple's Magic Trackpad, and that's quick and snappy and perfect. The multi-touch on the Wacom doesn't feel all that, that great. So if multi-touch for you is a must and you need it and you want it, you got to go with the Wacom. Software and how much can I customize both of these tablets? Uh, this one's again, pretty straightforward. Wacom just has superior software. It's easier to set up. The Huion, frankly, was a little bit difficult for me to set up. That might've been because of user error on my part, uh, but the driver was glitching with my Mac OS. I've got Mojave version something, 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 but they did after a little bit of searching, I found on their website, the workaround that it had to do with accessibility and security and Mac. Um, I did set up the Huion on, on my PC as well, my video editing PC, and it set up right away. It was easy. It was perfect. It was kind of weird that hardware set up so easily on a PC and was such a nightmare on the Mac. Um, but there's a first time for everything, right? Uh, so I gotta give slight points to the Wacom for that. Um, and the software on the Wacom is just so much better. It's, there's way more you can do to customize the tablet, the stylus, everything. There's a ton you can do with this. And also if you're worried cause you're righty versus lefty, you can set the tablet to flip its orientation. So your buttons can be on either side. Uh, and the same thing with the, uh, the same thing of course with the Wacom. The Wacom though, because of the markings and the way they've designed the tablet, um, you really don't know when the tablet is which way because the buttons, nothing's flipped upside down. With the Hueyon, your sort of whole entire control panel here is going to be flipped upside down when you're using it uh, left-handed versus right-handed. So just something to keep in mind if the aesthetic of it is gonna really bug you. Overall, I gotta go big win to the Wacom in the software department. It's just the wireless nature works perfectly. Everything with the driver and the software just works, works, works. And I know I can always rely on it for that. So Wacom with the software and the custom ability.
So longevity, how long will these tablets last with the Huey on? I just don't know. I've only had it for a couple months. It's been great while I've had it, but I just don't know. Wacom, I've had three tablets and I've had them all for 10 years and they all work great. And I beat them up. I use them all the time and I love them very much. Also, if you shake the Huey on, you can almost feel like little stuff. I don't know. Something maybe is not quite as tight in there as it should be. The Wacom, you feel like you're holding a piece of slate and it's just totally silent. It's as if it's one just solid, unmovable thing. This feels pretty solid, but just not, not to the level of craftsmanship of the Wacom, not to the same level of solidness as the Wacom. That's what makes me question the longevity of the Huion. Will it last 10 years? I don't know, but maybe, you know, five years, 165 bucks, that's a pretty good tablet to last you that long. That being said, I just haven't used it for five years, so I don't know. And there is that little stigma, you know, Chinese manufacturing, is it that good? But probably a lot of the tech we use is manufactured in China anyway. So maybe it's a little bit of a misnomer. I don't know. The Wacom, it's a workhorse. It, it's there. So I got to go longevity with the Wacom, but it's more due to the absence of evidence. Uh, I just haven't had the Huey on for 10 years. So I can't fault it there. But I got to say, Wacom in the longevity department, it feels more solid um, and proof is in the pudding for me, at least. I've had them for years and years and years and they just work. Then comes looks. I think they're both pretty handsome tablets, uh, uh, if I do say so myself. The Wacom is just so simple and clean. It's just one color. The buttons are all the same, uh, but the Huion's pretty nice. Uh, if I had to nitpick one thing about the Huion, it would be nice if the uh, the full battery indicator was green instead of orange because orange to me signals kind of distress when it comes to batteries uh, because the low battery is a red line. So you go red line with low battery, but then orange for full battery. That seems a little weird. Uh, and the switch is ugly. It's very easy to use and it's much easier than the little button switch on the Wacom, but it, it's ugly. So in the looks department, it gets docked for that. Uh, in the looks department for the Wacom, it does have a lot of like buttony stuff on the edges. Um, so maybe, you know, walk them if you can make that look a little bit better. Maybe you have on the newest versions of your Intuos Pros. Uh, but I got to go walk them in the looks department as well. It's so clean and sleek and beautiful and just, ah, everything's great about it. Love the Wacom. So then just a couple quick things before I let you get out of here. You've got press keys, which are just like hot keys on the tablet and what Wacom calls express keys on their tablet. Uh, it's honestly a toss up. You get more keys on the Huion, but you get the wheel and the custom ability of the wheel. If I was being honest, I think I might just prefer the more buttons of the Huey on. I can always program them in to make my brush size larger or smaller. And that's usually what I use the wheel for on the Wacom tablet. So I gotta say total toss up on the buttons. If you've never used a tablet before, it's nothing to fret about. You'll get you'll end up getting the Huey on if that's what you want. And you will love the fact that you have 12 totally customizable buttons. You will learn your workflow. You'll set hotkeys that work for you and you will be able to work so fast. And the same goes for the Wacom. You'll just get used to it and you'll love your little workflow. Now, when it comes to the stylus between these two, it's just better on the Wacom. Um, it's not bad on the Huion. It's just really amazing on the Wacom. It feels good. The, the rubber grip feels nicer. The buttons click nicer. It's got the eraser that you can program to execute a hotkey. Like every time you flip the stylus over, tap the eraser, it saves your document or it creates a new layer or drops a layer mask on that layer. Whatever you do, you know, again, hat tip to the Wacom software for the ability to do that. Um, but the pen is just better. The nibs feel more soft solid. Uh, the, the removal of the nibs, it's, it, you can change out nibs. It's so easy. Use your teeth, use a little tool. They give you whatever. Uh, the pen holder, the stylus holder, it's about the same. It's a little bit heavier and more expensive feeling for the Wacom than the Huion. Um, so I got to go big advantage to the Wacom in the stylus department. But again, if you've never used a tablet before, the Huion still feels really good. feels really good. Wireless capability, uh, again, I got to give this to the Wacom. It's just the old reliable. It plugs in, it works. There have been a couple times with the Huey on. I've had to fiddle with it to get it to connect and work, you know, like unplug the wireless uh, adapter or not. Also, the newest versions of the Wacom tablet are Bluetooth outfitted. So you will have one less clogged up USB port. This has a USB receiver, uh, which is great. It works perfectly and there's zero latency. It feels great, uh, but it's just another USB port that's going to be used up. Um, and like I said, there've been a couple times where it's been, I've had to, you know, finagle it a little bit and I don't like finagling. When I sit down to retouch, I want to be able to just click a button and go. Wacom does that for me. Wacom's got an edge when it comes to the wireless as well. And then lastly, the brand, the brand value, right? Just the, 
I see designers using Macs, so I need to go with an Apple computer. I see professional retouchers using Wacom, so I have to go with Wacom. There is an element to that where it's just tried and true, it's proven. And part of what separates a professional piece of equipment from something that's not quite as pro is that it can consistently perform at a high level. And Wacom does that. You turn, you turn it on, you plug it in, the wireless is just there, the battery holds charge for a really long time using it wireless, it recharges very quickly, and it's just reliable. For years and years and years, it's just been reliable. The Huion's great, um, uh, but again, you're, you're carrying with it this, I don't see that many people using them, is it gonna be as reliable for as long as the Wacom? I don't know, I don't even know the answer to that. So it just depends on how much value you put in that. It doesn't mean if you buy a Huion, you're not gonna get a great tablet. You may get an amazing tablet that lasts for two decades. I don't know. Um, but there is that element of it to consider as well. But also going back to our first point about price, there's that huge price discrepancy as well. So if price is the name of the game for you, Huion's got a huge win there when it comes to the price difference between Huion and Wacom. So my final thoughts are, I can sum it up as simply as this. If the Wacom's a perfect 10, the Huion's like a 9.1. It's very, very good. It feels so nice. It's a very nice tablet. Uh, if you're just getting into the tablet game, you're going to love a Huion. You're going to love a Wacom a little bit more, but you will love a Huion. That's as much as I can say about them. That is my comparison. The Huion versus the Wacom. I'll have descriptions and links to both these products down in the bio of this video if you're interested in checking them out anymore. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.